Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is how a pen tool works. We're going to be looking at Adobe Illustrator, but vector pen tools or Bezier curves are pretty similar throughout many applications and in lots of Adobe applications they're identical. If you're in InDesign and Illustrator the pen tools are identical, Photoshop they're almost completely the same, in After Effects they do the same thing just different keyboard shortcuts. So understanding the basics is important. Let's go have a look. So here we have a square, a circle, and a rounded rectangle. Everything you need to know about what you can do with a pen tool are in these shapes. Instead of making them uh, black, it's much easier to see this if I change this to a very bright green and make this a quarter of a point. That way when I'm drawing, I'm just looking at my edges. So let's go have a look at each one of these. I'm using the uh, direct select tool and selecting the points. And you can see what we have here are corner points. It's a point and the Bezier handles are actually collapsed inside the point. There's no roundness involved. That's a square. A, a, a circle has two handles, one on each side that control the amount of curvature going on. A rounded rectangle has a hybrid. It's like a circle on this side and like a square on that side. That's it. That's all you need to understand about the actual points and handles. Everything else is about your ability. So let's go have a look. I'm going to just delete that out of here and get my pen tool. And there's a pen tool and add points, delete points, and anchor point tool that changes. There's also this new curvature tool, which we'll look at in a second, but the pen tool is what I'm uh, going to be looking at. So if I want to create corner points, I just create corner points. Click, 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 click. Now if I get my tool and look at that, each one of those is a square point. No problem. All I did was click and not click and drag. I'll click and drag over here. Click and drag. Now I'm creating circular points and my guides are telling me where I am here so I, there's no way for you to create a perfect circle just by uh, drawing this in midair without some kind of guide assistance but I'm pulling out those handles. Now a, a rounded rectangle is definitely going to be a little bit harder if I select this. Notice I've clicked twice this is just a point but if I go back over that point and pull out I've actually pulled out a corner point. Go back, pull that out, and I've added a corner point. Now you would never use this method to draw simple shapes like that. In fact, Illustrator has a great tool that if I select and have the direct select, I can grab in here and actually change the corner points, uh, the the roundness of, of the rounded rectangle. What I'm doing is I'm trying to showing I'm trying to show you how to draw those shapes. So if you have something like this to trace, and it's a letter, but it really could be anything, your first job is to recognize where those three shapes occur in here. I'm going to start over here. What does this look like? Well, that looks like the circle. Remember, the circle had four points on it. One, two, three, four. So if I find the outside edge of that corner of where I think I have a circle, that uh, would be about here. So I'll grab the pen tool, click close to here, and drag down. I've now added that point. Okay, that's good. But where should the next one be? Most people would start drawing here, and then drawing there, and drawing there. But you know what? Let's look for, look at this negative space. This is another circle. It's another circle like that one. So if I go to the middle of the circle, forget about anything over here. Just go to the middle circle, click and drag down. And now I've got two handles to play with. So even though I have this pen tool selected, I'm going to be holding the command key on the Mac, control on Windows, and the shift key to get me up and down points here. So you start dragging that smoothly, smoothly, Come on, until you get to where you're going. Look at that. 
perfect and no other points in there. Let's look at the bottom. This is the bottom of the circle. Oops. And I deselected this, so I'm going to have to come back in here, click, and then drag down. Come back over here, click, and drag. And then hold down the Command key, Shift key, or Control on Windows. Go back over to here. Where's the? This isn't a perfect circle. This is distorted. So I could actually come up to that corner point, click, and drag down. And then go back on top of this. I'm holding, oops. Go back on top of this, grab that handle. I'm holding shift and watch what happens. It's going to snap into that point. That's pretty cool. That's an illustrator only feature. So go back over to here, back over to there and just fine tune this until you get it. Now here's the square. Click and whoops. I'm always deselecting my points here. So click once, hold the shift key down to make it uh, there we go, there we go. Holding the space bar to pan, holding the shift, shift, and then draw on top of this. So I clicked once for the corner point, then I clicked and dragged up. Oh, there's my circle right there. I could do it here, or I could do it here, but because this is a tight arc, I'm going to do it that way. Go back over to the bottom over here. Whoops. I keep deselecting. Go back. I think you get the point by now. Go back over to my middle of my circle. And if I, whoops, if I turn off the bottom, what you'll see is absolutely beautifully smooth drawn arcs and points where I need them. So it is nice and smooth. When I started in the business, I started uh, doing this exact thing. Uh, this is the days of stat cameras, and I had a job of, of scanning things in and redrawing them on top of them. And I was trained by some, some of the original hand uh, uh, letterers, and these guys would draw letters and it looked like fonts. It was that beautiful. In fact, I would draw something, take it into one of the, the uh, uh, owners of the company who was like the quality control guy. He'd be smoking a cigarette and he'd be on the phone at the same time talking to someone. He would look at my, my work and he would circle these points. There, there, there. And we called them noogies. Noogies where instead of something had an arc, there was a tiny little distortion in it. And it usually bec it was because I wasn't efficient with my points. And the final result looked beautiful. You saw it on packaging. Uh, you probably saw some of my work on packaging all over the world. And it looked absolutely perfect because you simplify exactly what this looks like. So don't be afraid of the pen tool. The pen tool is your friend. The pen tool is something you can grab hold of and uh, create some amazing artwork. In a later uh, tutorial, I'll show you how you can use these same techniques to create a focus chart for video. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then click on the uh, subscribe link to Video Revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download the free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.